Hey guys, I'm going to talk about 10 things you should not do when you travel to Japan. Japan is such an amazing country, but it does have a lot of kind of rules and cultural differences to other countries that make the place, you know, run so smoothly. It makes it just all work in harmony. Now, if you're interested in traveling to Japan, I would highly recommend you following these guidelines. Just a suggestion, because otherwise you might uh, make somebody upset or give the rest of us gaijin a bad name, something like that. So here are 10 things that you should not do when you travel to Japan. I've also done another video on seven things you should not do on a train here in Japan, so be sure to go check that one out. I will pop it in the description link down below. All right, number one, eat or drink on the train or the bus uh, here in Japan. You can eat or drink on the Shinkansen, the bullet train in Japan, but general public trains, I would not recommend eating or drinking, especially if it's something smelly or something like that. Obviously, if you need to, like you're starving or you're dying of thirst, you can have like, a little something, but yeah, just kind of avoid that one if you can. <laughs> number two, don't wear your shoes inside changing rooms or toilets. A lot of places you go, such as like hotels or some restaurants and places like that, some tea houses, things like that, you cannot wear your shoes into the toilet. So when you enter a venue, a place, uh, like somebody's house or something like that, you take your shoes off. You take your shoes off in what's called a genkan, it's kind of just like a little area where there's like a shoe cupboard and you put your shoes in there and you will wear slippers so then when you then need to go into the bathroom you will not wear your room slippers into the bathroom so you'll change into toilet slippers and the same thing goes for changing rooms don't wear your shoes inside changing rooms for big chains like from 21 and things like that it's okay but for japanese places like boutiques secondhand stores things like that you will be asked to remove your shoes before stepping into the change rooms number three play music or videos on your phone out loud in public uh sometimes in western countries people like to just play music on their phone out loud as they walk around like they need everybody else to listen to what they're listening to which is really strange because majority of the time no one gives a shit what they're listening to and it's the same goes in Japan. Japan is a really really quiet country so yeah don't go you know playing games out in public with your phone on loud or you know playing music as you walk around like a cool boy. Just don't do it. Number four, I touched on this in my other video, but don't talk loudly on the train. You don't need to be boisterous and loud. Trains are very, very quiet, so you could literally whisper to each other and still hear each other. So you don't need to, like, if you're sitting on opposite sides, like, if you're sitting on opposite seats of a carriage, don't yell out to each other. Just don't. Like, message each other or something. Don't, yeah, like, don't call out to each other on other sides of the carriage. Don't yell. Don't like make lots of noise just be respectful of those around you number seven is don't text and walk at the same time especially in train stations you will see signs for it everywhere like don't walk and text don't walk and text because it is so freaking busy here in japan so if you've like got your head down and you're texting you're gonna run into everyone and it's just kind of rude like there's that many people coming and going it's just best to Keep your eyes up and pay attention to what's going on around you so you don't bump into anyone. All right, don't be loud in restaurants. Sometimes, like in izakaya, it's kind of okay. Like if you go to an izakaya at night and there's like everybody is really drunk and you're making lots of noise and other groups of Japanese people are, sometimes it's okay, but like you don't need to be howling the place down. We've actually gotten kicked out of an izakaya before from being too loud. So yeah, it does happen. Just once again, be respectful and mindful of those around you. Not everybody needs to hear your conversation or your laughter or stuff like that. Just keep it down. Number nine, don't smoke on the street. You can actually get a fine of like, I think it ranges between 5,000 yen to 10,000 yen. So like you can get a hundred dollar fine for smoking on the street. It's really strange because you can smoke in restaurants. Like most restaurants allow smoking. Some have a smoking and non-smoking. Some even have a smoking room. Like KFC has a smoking room. But you cannot smoke out on the streets. So there is designated, you know, boxes and areas all around Japan which you can smoke in. But don't walk and smoke on the street. I often see tourists do this at like Shibuya Crossing and stuff like that. Obviously not realizing that you shouldn't be walking around and smoking because nobody wants to smell that dank ass smell. We don't want your secondhand cancer. 
All right, last one. Tenth thing is don't tip. Like, you don't need to tip here in Japan. And it can be kind of a nuisance because if you leave money, then that person that you've left money for it then has to chase you down and find you and give you your money back. It just looks tardy, I guess. Like, you're not responsible for your own belongings. Some places will take tips, like some bars and stuff like that that have a high influx of gaijin. They will take tips and you will see a tip jar or they'll say like tips here or you can even ask them, do you take tips if you get incredible service? But generally, you don't need to tip and don't waste your time or theirs by doing it. All right, so that's 10 things that you probably shouldn't do when you're here in Japan if you want to have a nice, smooth time here and you want to keep it respectful and things like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, check out my other video I did about seven things you shouldn't do on the train here in Japan, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye!